250 schools all over the UK are taking part in the Natural History Museum's latest citizen science project, the Microverse. They know what they have to do. Collect samples of microorganisms from buildings in their own environment. But once the samples have been collected, where do they go and what will happen to them? So when the samples come back to the museum, the lab component of the project will start. The first thing we do is we put them in a minus 80 freezer that the whole samples get frozen, that the DNA is preserved. Step one is to prepare the samples for sequencing. Before we sequence them, we have to do something called PCR to extract the DNA. PCR stands for polymerase chain reaction and it's a method where we can generate many copies of a DNA fragment. And we have to generate a high number of a specific section in the DNA of all the organisms in our samples to have enough material for the sequencing. The PCR machine exposes the DNA to a repeated sequence of different temperatures initiating different parts of the reaction. So after the PCR, we are doing a gel electrophoresis. It's a method where we run the DNA fragment on a gel and it's run through this matrix and after we've run it through it, we compare the size and this is done by comparing the size of our PCR product with something called a DNA marker which is basically like a ruler on the gel. So after we know that the PCR has worked, we're sending the samples for sequencing. We do high throughput sequencing, it's a cutting edge method, so we can sequence many samples at the same time and if the samples are good enough they get transferred onto a chip and that chip gets transferred into the sequencing machine for the samples to be processed. Once the machine has started, it takes roughly three days for the sequencing run to complete. Once Anne has analysed all the data, it will be sent back to each school and the results will be published in an international peer-reviewed journal. The students are really helping with cutting-edge science and are part of discovery of new knowledge and something that's new to science. But the story doesn't end there. What's also really important about the study is that we are collecting samples that we want to preserve for the future. So these DNA samples that the students collected will be stored in our molecular collection and will be kept forever for future research and new questions in science. It'd be very exciting to finally get our sequencing data and find out the incredible diversity that we suspect is living on these walls and which we have never studied before. Mm -hmm.